NAP 2019 show, still before the show floor is full of people, we have time to look at the PDC Extreme, and this is our new joystick controller this year. So, what can it do differently? Well, the PDC Pro and PDC Extreme, in terms of software, can do the same. But as you see, there are more buttons, more cool features like uh, the Hall Effect joystick. We have a zoom rocker, focus wheel, and Iris knob dedicated. Um, utility buttons up here typically map to exposure mode, um, sorry, iRace, auto iRace, auto focus and stuff like that. The takeaway is that we have so many, uh, so much flexibility in this panel because we put this place almost everywhere we could. So if you look at the topology of the panel, we have a row of buttons that will be used to select camera. Then we have uh, tally LEDs uh, or bars, tally bars under these. We have then a row of buttons which are typically dedicated to preset uh, recall, then uh, buttons that would be dedicated to menu. Over here we did something special, I'll tell you just uh, in a moment. And then we have knobs to adjust a lot of parameters. And compare it to the PDC Pro, you see that here we have four knobs. So over here we have more instant access to up to eight different parameters on the encoders up here. We did something funky. We connected it to three different cameras really different cameras in many ways. The Nutec uh, uh, Visca Command, uh, Visca Control camera here, we have PDC optics and we have a video camera over here. These are really different cameras, but they are mapped onto the same controller. So in the first case, when I select camera number one, I'm controlling the Nutec camera right here. So I can recall presets, presets on this camera. So you see now a preset is recalled um, and then of course I can adjust parameters on the knobs up here. I'm now using the zoom rocker to zoom in and out. You can see. So um, let's just move on to the next one here. So when I press this knob, you see that, oh, something is also happening right here. I'm actually routing as I select the PDC optics camera, I'm routing the PDC optics camera to this one. So it must mean that we are also in touch with the video router. So we have three cameras, a video router, and even the tally is coming from somewhere else. Guess where? An ATEM switcher. So that's five devices, even though we thought it was only three originally. This is again, is Skaho in a nutshell that we can connect to so many different things and map it onto the panels. If I hold down this shift key over here, you can see I access presets 13 up to 24. Uh, this is a, a different shift key that is uh, sometimes in this case, it's used to get focus mode on this one. So you can see this depends on the camera. If I go to PDC Optics, you can, hey, check this out. You can see the menu will change. So there are some parameters the same, like speed limit for PDC and focus. That's gonna be the same, but a lot of other parameters are different in a PDC Optics camera. So of course we can map those onto these knobs so that um, we, we are taking those particular cam uh, parameters and giving to you. Um, and if I go to the video camera, it's the same thing again depending on which menu I'm in, uh, this menu will give you access to various things that are specific for the video camera. Likewise, this is now the PDC Optics camera. And if you go here, we have the uh, new tech camera. All right, so um, what is there more to say? Well, let's take a look at focus, for instance, and, and look at this section over here. We could um, make sure that we are not in the uh, autofocus mode. So let's just disable this. And we are on the new tech camera right now. So uh, let's, Let's look at focus. Of course, it's in focus now because I just had autofocus on. But the cool thing is that this knob will give you fine control over focus for the new tech camera. So let's take a look at focus. So um, I'm now selected with the new tech camera and I hold down the shift key to make sure that autofocus is disabled. We can see it's disabled. I could also enable it. And on the screen, you can see, okay, so now it's in focus. That's all great. Let's just do something like go somewhere else and disable focus and then come back and look at um, the back wall here. Okay, so it's still in focus. So, okay, so we need to defocus. That's great. We're just turning the knob here. So the focus knob is really uh, handy for your thumb right here. You can adjust the focus. And when you look at the screen, you see that hmm, it's um, apparently focusing a little bit too quickly or what is actually up here. So we have a speed limit for focus, really important. So you can turn down the speed to 25% and it means that now you have more smooth action in obtaining your focus. See right there, you're just closing in slowly on the focus with the um, thumb wheel for focus. This is the PDC Extreme. 
Um, really cool controller with more dedicated knobs and buttons, cool zoom rockers, cool uh, focus wheel, iris adjustment and the Hall Effect joystick um, out of the box. Mm -hmm.